What's up everyone, it's the Motion Derby for Life. I'm here watching the geese fly by. Nah, not really. But I am here uh, doing the final video on the Jurassic Park car. She's all ready, loaded up, ready to go. She's gonna be sc scrapped here in a little bit. Um, uh, what did I save out of the car? I saved the motor. Um, I saved a brake caliper um, that I bought. It was that cost me 50 bucks. I'm not gonna just throw that away. Um, I also pulled the whole cage out, drive shaft. I will be saving the tires. I just have to grab an impact and and a uh, whatever else. It's probably just the impact. Uh, she's loaded full of scrap. I probably got about. Over, at least over two tons on here. I got quite a bit of scrap metal on here. Um, just thought I'd do a little video, a farewell video. I will be recording it being pulled off the trailer and it getting thrown in the pile. Um, I also have a, a heating unit on here, an old one that was junk and it's weight's weight. I also have a motor in here too. That was my very first motor and probably should have saved a couple more things off of it, but otherwise it's just junk. Junk, junk, junk. Blocks cracked and no point in saving it. Um, yeah, it's a sad day. Kind of a shit day too. Not so much weather, but work. Um, full of junk, full, full, full. I probably spent about a half a day just loading it full of scrap junk iron and whatnot that we had laying around. There's an old bicycle on there that's going bye bye. Uh, truck rim off of uh, the low boy here, completely rusted through. No good. So. In the scrap iron it goes. But there you go guys. I will be driving off here in a little bit. Um, I can't really think of anything else I saved off of this car. Besides the cage, motor. I saved the brake lines, a brake caliper. Um, I did stay, save the steering out of here. And then there was also some braces underneath from the front of the... Uh, frame to the back figure well that might come in handy they weren't bent so saved them I was gonna save the rear end out of here but I decided not to because it was pretty much like the brakes don't work in the back it's all rusted through and it's just too much of a hassle to save it so I'll save the other one the other rear end when I start stripping the Deadpool car but there you go guys She's going fair, say farewell, and we'll be starting here on the uh, the Deadpool car, getting that one stripped out, and I will be starting my next project for next year. But there you go, guys. We'll be back here in a little bit with the with the uh, unloading of the car. So see you guys in a bit. What's up, everyone? It's the Motion Derby for Life. I'm here playing with the two pooches. They're being a little rough. But I'm here gonna do a video on the uh, Deadpool car. This is its final day in this yard. Uh, it is loaded up, full of scrap. It's ready to go home to its new home and get junk. Um, this one, I'm it's gonna be really sad to see go. I'm this is this was my favorite car to build this last year. Um, I did get a little attached, but it's gonna be good to see it get out of here so I can bring in new stuff, which we'll I'll get more into later on. Um, I will throw up the video, uh, I or I will add. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Um, 
I will throw up the video of the Jurassic Park car getting pulled off the trailer and whatnot. I don't know if I... Oh, actually, I don't have that video. I, I goofed up on it, um, and it didn't turn out good. I, I'll got to check and see if I still have it, but if I do have it, and I think it's decent content, I will throw up the video, and I will record the uh, Jurassic Park car getting pulled off, or this car getting pulled off the trailer and getting thrown on the pile. Um, I also have a bunch of old junk batteries I got to get rid of too. Um, they can give me some money for that, so maybe I'll buy a brand new one if I get some decent money for it. So, I will be pulling off the tires. I'm definitely going to save those. Those are really good yet. I mean, they don't got much tread, but still, they look good. Um, um, I'm going to Uh, throw this tarp over it yet um, it's kind of got to get fully strapped down yet because if I don't have a tarp over it I could get a ticket and I don't feel like the what I get for this car for that ticket so that's the plan for that um, just gonna give one final walk around of it I, f I filled this car with a, just a all the scrap metal I could find around the yard and surprisingly I got this thing filled I'll probably get maybe a hundred bucks for the car I mean that's that's kind of a stretch um, I did save the rear end out of it I saved the motor I saved the cage I saved everything I could saved all the chains and whatnot I was gonna save the uh, like where the rear end um, goes into, but they were, I mean, it didn't really pay to save it because they were kind of bent and whatnot, so I figured just to, just to leave it go. Um, this car could have ran one more time, but I just, I just had to get rid of, I just have to get rid of it. I want to, I mean, it was beat up pretty good and, and I just needed to go. Um, I do have a couple paint designs already picked out for my next two cars, and I am going to touch up on the dead or the Ghostbusters car. I'm going to paint that the same way, but I'm going to add more details into it and touch up on a bunch of paint. Which I got to grab the uh, the gun to get these tires off. Uh, that's. That seems pretty good and tied down. Just gotta throw that tarp over it and we'll be good to go. But there's you, there you go guys, there's the last look at the Deadpool car before it gets thrown off the trailer and into the scrap pile. So I better get going here and we'll see you guys in, in a little bit. There she goes. Hopefully. Well, I have a little bit of scraps left, and there she goes, guys. Her new home. There she goes. Final resting place. <laughs> 